Welcome to the MyMoto YouTube channel and welcome to Aero's brand new Commander 2 Dual Sport Helmet. This is Aero's new Commander 2 Dual Sport Helmet. We're going to have a close look at this helmet, some of its features and how it's changed and evolved over the old Commander. This now comes in three helmet shell sizes. So it goes from extra small to small, medium to large, and then extra large up to a triple extra large. So there are two types of shell material used. You can either get it in a full 6K carbon shell or you can get a carbon composite shell. Um, this one being a painted version is the carbon composite. The ones where you can actually see the carbon weave are the 6K carbon. These weigh in at around 1,440 grams plus 50 grams depending on shell size and some of the accessories that you can put onto this helmet. So let's take a closer look as well at some of the new features that Aero have built into this helmet. This comes with a five year Aero manufacturer warranty. So when you get this helmet, make sure you go into the box, get that warranty card out and apply for your warranty because five years is an incredible warranty on a helmet. What it also has is Bluetooth communication ready. So you can actually get an intercom that is custom built into this Aero. Um, there is a port here for it to go through so you can attach it onto there and all your cabling goes through. A lot of people using things like the Cardo Pack Talks and things like that will attach it onto here but you can still use that port to pass your wires through so it is a handy thing to have anyway. They have got a new um, Coolmax antibacterial hypoallergenic lining to this helmet which can be removed and washed as well. On that note, Aero has included with the Commander 2 helmet this AEFR emergency only release system for the cheek pads. So you've actually got these two red hoops here. So if in the event of an accident, you can actually leave the helmet on the person who's wearing it, pull these, remove the cheek pads so that when the helmet is being removed, it isn't pulling on the uh, person's neck, which could cause extra damage to, to their spine if they have had a a neck injury of some sort. So that's a great safety improvement to be included. It's something you see in a lot in the race helmets, but to have it included in an adventure bike helmet is uh, a good thing to have. Same as the old Commander, it can be set up in three different ways. So you can have it like this as an, uh, an adventure helmet with the peak and the visor. It does still have that internal tinted visor as well, which the old Commander had and was one of its big selling points as well as an adventure helmet. You can run it without the external visor and have it in a like a motocross style setup or you can take the peak off which is what we did last time we tested the old commander and run it almost as just like a road helmet with that internal visor as well to make it a little bit more practical if we have a look at this now next to the old helmet so we've got the old commander here which you'll recognize from our last video first thing that's going to strike you i mean they pretty much look the same so you would almost think that all they've done is changed a few of the extras around the helmet which they haven't if you actually look at how the top vents are molded in we've got a whole new top vent here which is an intake vent and an exhaust vent with a clicker on and that audible click is actually a really handy thing to have so it is easy to operate but you can hear when you have opened or closed the vent because you can hear that click inside the helmet the old helmet used to just have these exhaust vents with a small intake vent at the front. Now that intake vent at the front isn't much use if you've got your internal visor um, in the up position because it actually blocks the airflow from getting through to the inside to the top. So what they've done is they've done, included this uh, intake at the top vent. So you're getting a better airflow through the skull cap coming right through the back and there's actually exhaust vents down at the back as well here. The internal visor, so on the old one, you'll see it used to flip up and down by a lever there and that was actually quite tricky to do. I'm sure over time they get a little bit less stiff, um, but getting a glove onto there and doing that whilst you're riding was a little bit tricky. So on this new visor, they've got this cable operated system and a slider, so you can see there. Slider, nice and smooth, definitely a better system than the old one. Another thing that's changed with the visors as well is this now has a locking mechanism. So as the visor comes down, 
you'll see it latches and that is now locked and there's a button now to release that and that goes up where with the old system it was just a catch so it could easily spring back up so a better visor mechanism on the whole and if you even look at the side plate for the visor this is now a dual axis visor with a better rubber seal at the top so you're going to get a better visor seal especially if it's raining and any water's coming down from above and running onto the top edge of that visor but by doing this it needs to have that dual axis system so as the visor comes down that final position you'll see it draws back and onto that rubber seal with the old one single axis pivots on a single point and it has to slide over the top seal before it closes so a slightly better visor seal on this and a better visor mechanism we've got the same front vent system here with the same slider slight difference in design to the, the shape of it but the same same slider really uh, and on the inside you'll see it's still got that foam filter on both um, which stops debris coming through inside the helmet when you're riding this is easily removed and can be washed and cleaned and put back in as well what you will also notice as well so not only has the shell had to change because of this slider now moving to the the uh, bottom edge of the helmet here they've also moved where the chin strap is anchored so it used to be further back which you'll see on here they've moved that forward and i think that's to make it a little bit comfier on your neck when you're wearing it this is just i mean the old one was a comfy helmet this is just as comfy if not a little bit better so the peak on the new one is exactly the same as the old one in the way that you get a very small screwdriver and you can get underneath each of these plates ping them out there's a screw behind a clear plastic screw unscrew that and the, the top peak comes away you then actually get in the kit uh, some blanking plugs which can cover up the holes where the screws were if you want to run it as a road helmet or alternatively you can actually put an extra plate on the top for your camera mounts this comes with the gopro camera mount which the old one used to come with one of the reasons for the changes to the commander to become the commander 2 is because of the ece 2206 regulations which now this meets it also comes with acu gold certification now if we look at the pads inside like i said this has got the removal pad section slightly different to the old one in that when you had to look at the old helmet you remove the cheap pad and it comes out with the eps and the soft padding in one the soft padding on this now is overlaying the eps so eps is fixed on the inside of the shell which you'll see around here and the soft pad can be removed there is small soft pads that are velcroed into where your speakers would go for a comms unit and that has already got the velcro pre-installed at the back for your comms speaker to fit onto you're not relying on the adhesive ones that come in the comms kits then in the front of the helmet we've got this recess for a cable to run through and for your microphone to fit in so they are actually making this helmet ready for comms to go into it which is a great thing to see with helmet manufacturers being a little bit more proactive with the technology that people are now putting on helmets whether it be an intercom or cameras and things like that so we loved the aero commander and we definitely loved the new aero commander too we've been out we've had a test ride in it it lives up to expectations thanks for watching please if you enjoyed this video like subscribe to see more and leave us a comment let us know if you've either had one of these aero commanders whether you're interested in the Commander 2 or what else you might like to see in the future, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time, ride safe.